Kate Smiley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Saturday, March 30th. Okay, so we have the moon in Sagittarius energy all day. Now, overall, this is a very optimistic, very confident, very kind of dreamy type of energy. We are exploring possibilities. We are conjuring up new goals, new visions, new dreams. And of course, that moon in Sag has us dreaming the biggest of dreams, even though over the next couple of days, especially when the moon shifts into Capricorn energy, we may have to refine those visions, goals and dreams to become a little bit more realistic. The moon in Sag has us kind of seeking new purpose, new meaning, new truth. And we are definitely starting to see the bigger, broader picture of some of the circumstances that have popped off as of late from a different set of eyes, really understanding why these particular circumstances happened the way that they did in order to push us into our power, to push us into this new version of self. And therefore, Standing in a new truth, we are having a little bit more acceptance on some of these situations and circumstances and understanding how it is that we are going to integrate some of these tough love life lessons into our present moment, into our now. So there are six different aspects taking place here today, relatively slow day in the cosmos. All six are going to involve the moon, which means that this is a moon day, another day of emotionally refining our inner realm, trying to get our heart and our head on the same page trying to explore the depths, the magnitude of our emotions, and of course, push ourselves into conjuring up a different vision, goal, and dream for us to now start to manifest. So we kick the day off with a tough aspect. The moon and Sag going to get into the boxing ring, square off, create some tension and conflict with Mars. Mars is the god of war. He rules over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. Mars is currently trying to wrap up his time through the Zodiac Wheel. He's currently in Pisces energy. This is giving us an opportunity to, again, get aligned in our inner realm. We need to get emotionally, intuitively, spiritually aligned with a new mission, with a new purpose. We are trying to conjure up new excitement, new passion, new desire, new inspiration, new motivation on what it is that we absolutely want to take action upon. Of course, Mars in this Pisces energy energy is really aligning us with new goals, new visions, new dreams, but the tension between the moon and Mars, the conflict here is that the moon in Sag is really activating the biggest, greatest, grandest possibility that we could possibly even fathom. However, Mars being in this, I'm going to say pressurized alignment energy, not really feeling a lot of the options, a lot of the opportunities that our mental plane, of course, are leading us into. Again, this is an energy where, yeah, we want to kind of use our mental plane. We want to use our heart space to really kind of sort through the different options and opportunities that we have available to us in the here and now, but we really have to feel it in our inner realm. We really have to be, again, intuitively or spiritually or emotionally motivated, inspired to actually align with said vision. This is also kind of putting us in a pressurized situation where there is a little bit of frustration and agitation. We are growing in restlessness. We do want to take action and make moves. And of course, we're waiting for that green light. Go ahead to actually do so. But again, the time that we are spending right now is about kind of cultivating this inner spark, this inner fire, this inner flame. The moon in Sag is then going to trine beautiful interaction with the sun in Aries energy. So this is some fire on fire action. And we love this. First of all, fire helps us to basically burn through the cords and burn down the old emotional structures, the old, I'm going to say parts of self. There is this, I'm going to say, ability to realize where it is that things need to kind of, you know, fall in order for us to have the space to build something new in its place. And so the regenerative energy, the renewal energy that comes with fire energy is going to put some pep back in our step. It's also lending us a lot of inspiration, a lot of creative force energy that again, we are starting to build within our inner realm. 
reminder, when the moon and the sun come together in any kind of interaction, lucky for us, this is a favorable one, there's going to be a new aha moment, a new awareness, especially where our emotions are concerned, trying to kind of orient us to the path, to the direction that we need to be focused on, on what it is that we want to build, what we want to create, what we want to initiate, what we want to bring to life. The moon then goes ahead, makes an awkward interaction with Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information communication, how it is that we express ourselves in this Aries energy, just a couple of days away from going retrograde. So again, the mental plane is slowing down. We are kind of pulling our attention from trying to push ideas and make up plans and come up with strategies and articulate our goals. We're moving inward. We have to kind of percolate on it. We have to contemplate it. We have to do some revision. We have to make some edits, if you will. We're not there yet, but we are definitely seeing where it is that some of the ideas that we were very passionate about just a couple of weeks ago, where it is that we're questioning said ideas, said path, said plan. And so the moon being our heart space and Mercury being our head space, they're not exactly on the same page right now. The moon in Sag, again, has us thinking in big picture visions, big picture goals, while the mercurial energy in Aries, of course, is just trying to figure out how to start. It's great to have an end goal and end vision, but sometimes the hardest part is just starting, just initiating just trying to bring this new cycle, this new chapter, this new idea to life. The moon is then going to get in the boxing ring square off with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, ruling over our roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, willpower, and discipline. Saturn is in Pisces energy, so fire and water. Again, you know, if it was balanced, then things were going to get hot and steamy and passionate and creative. But what we're getting here is a little bit of a reality check. Of course, that's what Mr. Saturn likes to do. So he's bringing all kinds of water energy, a lot of emotion. He's bringing a lot of intuition into the forum. And of course, the moon in Sag really kind of bites off more than we can chew, really pushes us into a situation where sometimes the dream is too great, too grand and very unrealistic. So the reality check that Saturn is bringing is definitely bringing us down a couple of pegs, but it's also kind of putting us in a situation to realize that our belief system, what we tell ourselves, how we view ourselves, what we feel about ourselves isn't really quite up to par to actually align with the goal, the vision, the dream that the moon and Sag is trying to paint for us. Again, the Pisces energy that Saturn is in is deconstructing the old belief system, the old limiting thoughts, the old ways of doing things. And because, again, it's great to sit back and dream a bigger dream, but if we are not of the vibration and frequency, if we're not carrying the confidence, if we're not feeling well-equipped or well-prepared to do whatever needs to be done to actually bring this goal, this dream, this vision to life, then, again, we're kind of living in fantasy land. Saturn kind of gives us that reality check, brings us down a couple of pegs, and is, um, I'm going to say, a little bit I'm going to a little bit of a negative Nancy, if you want to get down to the nitty gritty about it and really kind of giving us a different perspective on where it is that we're getting too ahead of ourselves with this moon and Sag energy. The moon is then going to try and beautiful interaction with the North node in Aries energy, another fire on fire interaction. We love this because of course the North node in Aries is trying to get us on the right path to move forward, to align with a new mission, new purpose, new goal. This is definitely kind of feeding off of again, the eclipse energy that we are currently in the midst of showing us where it is that guess what? We have a little bit, a little tiny bit of a vision on where it is that we could get started on this new path, in this new quest, in this new adventure. We are open to growing. We're open to improving. We're open to healing. But again, the visual that we are kind of, you know, conjuring up in fantasy land right now, a little bit bigger than it needs to be, a little bit more unrealistic than it needs to be. But we are starting to see a lot of improvement in our overall mood and attitude towards trying to kind of nail down the details on what it is that we actually want to start, what we actually want to pursue. 
The last thing that we got going on here today is the moon in this Sag energy, semi-squaring, creating a little bit of tension and conflict with Pluto, the great transformer himself in this Aquarius energy. So of course, things get intense when we interact with Pluto. We have to move in our inner realm, deep in our psyche, really examine the old patterns, the old behaviors, the old programming, the old conditioning to see where it is that, again, our inner realm vibration how we're thinking, how we're feeling is not in alignment with this dream, with this goal, with this vision. So again, it is very unrealistic to conjure up a different realm, a different reality that we would like to manifest and not have any kind of correlation to this present moment. You know, if you are, let's say, I'm going to give this as an example, and it's a poor one, so, you know, heads up. But let's just say for an example that you were homeless and all you are focused on is manifesting, winning the lottery and becoming a billionaire. Do you see how big that gap actually is? Do you see how unrealistic that vision, that goal, that dream is? Now, is it impossible? No, because there is magic. There is miracles that take place each and every single day. But you would kind of want to reframe that in thinking, okay, yeah, that would be great to win the lottery. Yes, that would be great to go from rags to riches. Perfect. That is a storyline that, you know, would make a lot of people happy. However, a realistic goal would to be just to acquire housing, to acquire a job, to acquire safety, security, and stability. The end goal could be that you want to be a millionaire, but what is a realistic step that you could definitely manifest to get you away from where it is that you're at and closer to where it is that you want to be? So this is about reframing the visual, the goal, the dream, understanding where it is that maybe you're dreaming too big of a dream, where it is that you kind of have to reel yourself back in and take a good look at your inner narrative, at your inner dialogue, at the way that you're currently feeling about yourself, whether you feel well-equipped, well-prepared to jump into a brand new cycle, whether you feel confident and optimistic enough to actually be of the vibration and frequency to align with the goal, the vision, the dream that you're currently trying to manifest.